super fight. You know, the, the build-up starts now. Brian has two wins against him, so let's make it in the pros. Bro, you know how many weight divisions that is? What, what, he the new Pacquiao? Bam, bam, boom. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm supposed to. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Bang, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's at the house. Check this out, man. So we got uh, we got uh, um some news coming out of uh the Golden Boy camp. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Oscar De La Fish. Now. I mean, Oscar De La Hoya. Excuse me. My bad. You dumbass. <laughs> But yeah, man, so so we got some, um, you know, we have Virgil Ortiz uh, fighting Serhi Boachuk, which I think is a big step up for him. You know, um, Virgil Ortiz and Boots Ennis, to me, are in the same same boat. You know, they're both uh, great fighters, you know, where they, they, they're seemingly impressive. You know, every single fight that they win, um, they win impressively. But a lot of times it's, it's against um, lesser known opponents, you know what I'm saying? Or, or, you know, decent opponents, never anybody great. But, you know, Boots just won against David Avenesian. I thought that was a good statement. And I think if Virgil Ortiz beats Serhi Boachuk, you know what they're saying, with this step of the competition, that would be very good for him. Very, very good for him, you know what I'm saying? So um, that's coming up on August 10th. But, you know, we have other news, man. We have other news from Oscar De La Hoya involving Virgil Ortiz and involving Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia, right? You know what I'm saying? You know my channel, man. We talk about boxing in here man so i have not been covering any of the ryan garcia nonsense his erratic behavior the fiasco with his with it with it with, with his ridiculousness you know what i'm saying but because this is boxing let's let's talk about it let's talk about it in terms of boxing you know and um so ryan garcia has been given a proposal you know which i think is just more so of a <laughs> of like a uh, of an attempt to stay relevant by his promoter oscar de la hoya but you know he's been involved in a proposal which is an all in-house golden boy showdown between virgil Ortiz Jr. and Ryan Garcia potentially, man. Super fight. You know, the, the build-up starts now. It's Ryan Garcia who called out Virgil. I think, I believe they fought in the amateurs twice. Um, I believe Ryan has two wins against him, so let's make it in the pros. And what's, what's crazy about that is that, you know, um, let's think about Ryan Garcia's last fights, man. Last few fights, right? His last fight was against Devin Haney at 140. He didn't make that way. He was at 143. You know, uh, his fight before that, Oscar Duarte, again, supposed, was supposed to be at 140. He didn't make that. It was 143. And then his fight before that was at a catch weight at 136 between him and Gervonta Tank Davis, where he got slaughtered. Whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? It stopped. But then, you know, a lot of people say, hey, man, Ryan Garcia has never fought at 140. That's not entirely true. You know, well, it's not true at all. His last few fights were at 140, but he did fight at 140 against uh, his fight before t t uh, before Tank Davis, and it was against Javier Fortuna. It was originally supposed to be at 135, if I'm not mistaken, but at the request of Javier Fortuna's camp, uh, um, surprisingly, they wanted it to be at 140 and be a super lightweight uh uh, a contest which uh, Ryan Garcia and his camp obliged. So it was at 140, you know, and um, he did make the weight. He was at 140, I believe. Javier Fortuna weighed in at 139, if I'm not mistaken. And he won. He won convincingly, you know, uh, by stoppage. But with that being said, though, if we think about that, right? So he went from, in the last, his last four fights, he went from 135 or 136 uh, and 140. And, you know what I'm saying? As far as weight divisions go. And now his promoters promote, uh, is, is, is suggesting. <laughs> A fight with Virgil Ortiz at 154? God damn it, that's a big fat ass! No, no. Bro, you know how many weight divisions that is? What, what, he the new Pacquiao? Like, this this is crazy, man. I just think that, you know, um, if we consider all this stuff and the, all this uh, <laughs> stuff around Ryan Garcia, and not even just Ryan Garcia, but, you know, how many times people are scaling all these weight divisions, man, it kind of makes you wonder, you know, and then and then when you consider the fact that Ryan Garcia was caught with steroids in the system, you know, Osterine and PEDs, then you wonder, it's like, man, I wonder if this is aiding people in 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 in, in jumping all these weight divisions. It's seemingly at, at at a whim, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, what, what one fight they'll be at 135, the next fight they'll be at 168. <laughs> You know, but anyway, but let's talk about the fight, though, man, the hypothetical fight, right, between Virgil Ortiz and Ryan Garcia, who I believe they have some um, some amateur fights, right? They have some fights um, in, back in the amateurs. I don't remember how it went. Um, so I have to go look that up to see. But I do remember I don't remember the results, but I do remember um, them fighting in the amateurs, if I'm not mistaken, you know, and um, but, you know, I, I think amateur fights have little to 
no significance when it comes to professional showdowns. But let's talk about this professional showdown, man. I think Virgil Ortiz gets Ryan Garcia out of there in three rounds. I'm not going to lie to you. And <laughs> I think Virgil Ortiz, if Virgil Ortiz is what I think he is, man, Ryan Garcia is going to go. He's going to go down with a body shot, just like we've seen that before. Whoa, whoa. Oh, Garcia forced to take a knee. <laughs> so, so, you know what I'm saying? I, I think that Virgil Ortiz wins and he wins convincingly. I think that, you know, weight classes should be respected. You know, I think that they, they are important, you know. Um, but there's some people that can transcend weight, weight classes like Manny Pacquiao, like Terrence Crawford. He's going to attempt to do that if he does ever land the the uh, the fight with um, Canelo. You know what I'm saying? He's going to attempt to do that, which I, I just I just personally think that usually um, – um, the, the guy who's who's most comfortable, the guy or girl that's most comfortable at the higher way is usually going to win. And I think that, you know, in my personal opinion, um, there'll be no difference with Virgil Ortiz and, and Ryan Garcia. I think Virgil Ortiz would get him out of there, make short work of Ryan Garcia if they ever do meet, if Ryan Garcia ever returns, re, ever returns to boxing. We'll see, man. But, yeah, I just thought it was a funny proposal that that Oscar De La Hoya made. You know, but like I said, I think mostly it's just a PR. It's just a PR move, you know, to keep Ryan Garcia relevant in the boxing realm and, you know, saying give, give the fans something to, something to look forward to with Ryan Garcia's stardom, uh, whether you like it or not, he is a star. And, um, and you know, Virgil Ortiz having a fight coming up August 10th, you know, so this is a, just a media move, in my opinion, you know, get people more interested in Virgil Ortiz and keep Golden Boy in the forefront of, uh, of, of, of talks when it comes to boxing, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think about it, though, in the comments, man. But most importantly, remember, with God, we can do anything without God, we're nothing. Y'all be easy. Take care of yourselves. The doctor's out. Peace. Say what's up to Kimba. I don't, I don't know where Bandit's at. Bandit over there. Oh, he over there laying down. Check out Bandit. Bandit. Yeah, he doing his thing. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.